Hey, what is up, friends and cuties? Hey, it's your boy Living Wasteland, and today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually be showing some gameplay of the Rancho del Arroyo map. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on the missions today. So if you guys have seen it all this week, if you guys have been in the Twitch streams, we've played a lot. We've we've got to hunt all the pheasants and all the different animals and stuff, and it's been a lot, a lot of fun. But what we're gonna do today is go through the missions and the gameplay for that. Uh, if you guys are planning on playing the missions, this is gonna be a great way to see how they look, what to do with them, stuff like that. On the map, as you guys will see in just a second, I've already driven around the whole entire map with an ATV, unlocked all the outposts and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to make it a little bit faster because I can fast travel. I don't have to run for as long if we have to go to certain locations and stuff like that. But we're going to play through some of the missions today. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, let's get right into it. First and foremost, she. Look at this, bro. Look at this dang map. I love this map. Like, just the way that this all looks. We missed a little bit of dialogue here in the beginning. Um, because when I first load into the map, they give you all the dialogue. And they're basically telling you, like, hey, don't be lazy. Uh, you got to go do these things. So we're here on the mission part. So if you guys look in here uh, on the map, like I, like I told before, I've, I have a ton of hunting pressure in different places because we've went around and hunted all kinds of stuff. I drove around the whole entire map for forever. It took us literally forever to drive around. If you guys have ever done that, that's one of the best things to do in a new map is out anywhere, anyway regardless, is get your first outpost, get an ATV, and just start driving. So I threw something up on the other screen and literally just drove around for like an hour and a half, two hours, literally. That's how big the map is, driving around on an ATV forever. So we're going to get into submissions today. I don't know how many we'll knock out in this episode, but we're going to try to get some of these done. Uh, if you're a new player, missions are great. They're a great way to not only get XP in the game, but get money. Um, you get to explore a lot of the map. You get to hunt specific animals and do stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. So let's try it out. Uh, so it looked like it was giving me a, something to come in here for. But then we got something over there. So, so this is probably the main dialogue here. It's probably trying to get me to come here. I would assume, right? You can always check too, chat. Or <laughs> chat, I say. Sorry, I'm used to streaming. You can always check too in here. It'll tell you what to do. Open the Hacienda Outpost. Optional. Farmer, familiarize yourself with the Hacienda visit. Or no, with the Hacienda. Visit the nearby lookout tower. So I think we familiarized, for little, if I can speak those words, I think we familiarized ourselves with most of this already. They have actually a really cool setup on this outpost. Not all the outposts are this big, but this one's really cool. It's got your kitchen. Some rooms that you can open, lots of scenery, lots of vases and pots and plants and all kinds of junk like that. You got your little middle way here. One day I want to have a house with the tree in the middle of it. That's my plan. Ooh, actually I haven't seen this yet. I didn't even know. Okay, I knew this was here. The study. No one's really been in here much since my bisabuelo. That's I thought I would. Okay. My grandfather since he died. I thought I knew all this stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought I knew all this stuff already. I did not know there was an upstairs. Hey, comment down below if you guys already knew there was an upstairs and you just had seen it. And I just have a smooth brain. Comment down below if that's if you already <laughs> knew that. What do we got up here? The master bedroom, baby. Oh, of course. Give me that hat, please. Uh, that's a soldadera's hat. Soldadera's. A revolutionary. My sister borrowed mm. it for the centenary celebrations in Mexico okay. a few years ago. All right. Apparently, the power went out. Tell you, Mexican women are afraid to do the dirty work. Wait, he's saying that they are or they aren't afraid? I think he's saying they aren't afraid. That was my great-grandfather, Javier. <gasps> Having that by the bed, Jet. She. <laughs> she was a vaquero through and through. Nice. Okay. Is the... Hey, uh, I don't Let me turn up. You out or anything, but this isn't quite what I meant by scouting the place out. What do you mean? It's exactly what you told me to do. <laughs> I love it. I turned up the uh, the audio a little bit for the dialogue because I normally keep it really low because most of the time I'm just trying to do other stuff and the dialogue just kind of is everywhere. So let's see if there's anything. What can we interact with here? The bed? Okay, so we can sleep. We don't want to sleep. I didn't know there was an upstairs here, to be honest with you. Of course, we know what that is. Anything else here? No. Okay, so actually, let's get an, let's get an ATV here. And what I'll probably do is go ahead and speed this part up. But we're going to drive over to... If it'll let me do it. We're going to drive over to the next little part. It's about 986 meters. But I'll probably turn that down. It's, the ATV is always so loud in this game. Most of the time when I do the initial driving around kind of things that I do... 
cut down even a little more. Most of the time when I do the initial like driving around stuff that I do, uh, <laughs> I just completely mute the game itself. And I, I'll do this. I'll have something on my second monitor and I'll literally just drive, make sure I'm not like hitting anything, make sure I'm still on the roads. I don't go off-roading because it takes so much more time to go off-roading on this game. Honestly, if you've ever done it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It takes so much more time to go off-roading on this game than, um, than normally like just going and staying on the roads. So uh, it never takes a while. Normally I'll just have something over here and I'll be able to do both. Ooh, what do we got here? That was a big old group, probably pigs. I did get killed by a whole entire herd of pigs earlier. Uh, okay, I'm a liar. I need to go off-road. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not going to drive all the way around on this, but you guys will get to see the off-roading on this game, man. Okay, if I can quit spitting out. I've also got a weird audio bug that I can hear. Um, it sounds like I'm in like a tunnel. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It makes it sound like as if I'm in a tunnel. I don't know what the audio bug with that is. If we continue to have issues with it, maybe we'll have to re-log or something like that like come out come back in or something um but if you're going off road like this right like this isn't too bad because i'm going uphill so it's not too it's not too fast but you're you got to watch out for trees you got to watch out watch out for cactuses the rocks will get you there's going to be random little rocks you just run into and it hurts the durability of your uh your atv it's not that bad but i feel like it's quicker and it's easier to be focused on something else while just riding on main roads so that's what i normally do right away but like i was saying earlier this is going to be one of the best ways to get like all of your if i can get this it's one of the best ways to get like a lot of xp a lot of money <laughs> no thank you if you flip sometimes you just straight up die and that is not fun either so see now we're going downhill so now we got to take it somewhat a little bit slower i mean i'm an expert driver okay we don't need to address that or nothing but i'm an expert driver i don't know if you guys can hear that or not so we are here now. Uh, <laughs> I seem to be having a weird glitch audio-wise. I don't know what's causing that. So it just sounds like I'm in a tunnel when I'm not in a tunnel. Well, maybe I'm in a tunnel. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we're, this is all a part of a big simulation, and we just don't know. But we're on mission one on our way up. I don't know what I didn't interact with here. I thought I interacted with everything, but maybe not. Looks captivating, no? I don't like that. Except a lot of the problem with ranches like this one is what you can't see. True. We've sucked up so much of the groundwater for cattle that areas that used to be wetlands are turning arid year-round. Ooh. The grasslands are mostly buffle grass. It's buffle? an introduced species buffle grass. that smothers native plants. Interesting. Like to catch fire, too. Yeah. I once saw a saguaro, you know, one of those classic cactus plants, so surrounded by buffle grass, burst into flames. What? It was one of the kicks in the rear I needed to finally sell off the last of our cattle. Hey, Got rid of the cattle, huh? Take the time to explore the ranch in your downtime. Too. Okay, all right. If even half of what I heard growing up is true, <laughs> there is plenty waiting out there. <sighs> nice. Is that it? Mission complete, baby. I don't know what happened to the audio there. So, it wanted I'm to play the thing and it did it. Someone. They said less than a minute, but out here that means at least five. You're probably more like twenty. <sighs> Uh, okay. Anyway, Let's see. We'll just listen to the dialogue here. But there are a few things I need you to take care of first. I'll make it. I need to wait up here just in case I need to take anything. First up, the cattle may be gone, but there's still some fencing left. There should be a pair of fencing. I got to go back to the kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> okay, so I came up here for this, uh, but apparently I got to go straight back. So what we're gonna do is we'll head back over there. And I'll meet you guys there in one second. As you guys saw, it said mission complete. So I think that's the first mission technically complete. Uh, yeah. So, buenos vidas a Mexico. So this one, I, I, I just, I don't know if I sounded good with that at all. But I tried my heart out. And you best believe it. Um, but we're on the second mission now. So we'll go back over there. Uh, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me drive back over there again. So uh, we'll catch you guys over there in just one second, okay? What's that? Sorry, YouTube. I can't hear you over the overly loud sound of this dang ATV. Holy crap, man. I think it's so loud. It's like no matter what you do, there's nothing you can do to make it not, like, sound so insanely loud. I guess I can understand why all the animals in this game just constantly run and run and run and run from, like, a thousand miles away, it feels like. Because this is the loudest thing ever. I would do the exact same thing. I'm going to be completely honest with you. All right, let's head to this kitchen. Let me turn the game back up a little bit. Let's head into this kitchen. 
Let's go get these. I think he said we need wire cutters is what we're doing. Who left the door open? Do you live in a barn? I guess kind of. Kind of looks like a barn. <laughs> All right, let's go see. Let's go see what's in here. I kind of like how all the furniture has the cloth over it. They got a lot of furniture, though. I'll give them that. All right, let's take these up. Probably going to be a ton of dialogue. I'll mark the spot on your hunter raid. Yeah, boy. Oh, I got to go outside. I was excited. I thought we were going to have to travel somewhere. That will be really fast for us. I've done the hard work of going around the whole entire map and unlocking everything. So this should be the easier part now. Inside or outside? Probably outside, right? Should we take the ATV for the for the 10, 10, <laughs> 10 foot journey here? Would it be a 10 foot would be past tense, right? It wouldn't be a 10 feet journey. It'd be a 10 foot journey. Okay. Take it section by section. Have I seen this before? Or is this new? I feel like I may not have ever seen this. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Hey, watch Holy, yourself so there. sorry, guys. The nearest hospital would laugh you out of the building if you told them you needed a tetanus shot for a barbed wire <laughs> cut just because you weren't wearing gloves. <laughs> Sometimes the game sounds in this game are just so loud. Just kind of how it works, but it, I mean that's just that game. And now the posts. You can pile them up in a heap, and I'll have someone collect them later. Okay, that's not too bad. The audio on that's not too bad. Uh, maybe I I feel like I haven't seen this. Maybe I didn't notice it, like the actual fences I drove by. Maybe maybe not. I'm getting sweaty just watching. I'm getting sweaty just watching me. I'm ready to 360 no scope of pheasant. I actually wanted to check this one off the list myself, but I had some matters mm. to attend to in town. Sure. How much you pay me, brother? It's a big moment for the ranch, tearing down the last of the fencing. Oh, that's it, huh? The Soto family has raised cattle on this land since Mexico's independence. Nice. My mom. Uh, now you're making me sentimental. Yeah. Look, how about a change of pace? Huh? I'm stuck here waiting, and you're probably itching to put that trigger finger to good use. So let's have some fun. Yeah. Things out here aren't all business. Let's go. Know? This one's gonna be fun. I already know. Nice, a thousand fifty for the second mission, and then you're getting XP the whole entire time as well. So that's a big before, plus too. No? Ooh, we get to hunt some pheasant. Well, I'm no expert, but I picked up a couple of points. Yes. My it's gonna be so cool, dude. Introduce these guys. So. I can show you the ropes. All right, cool. Where do we got to go? Get over to the region marked on your hunter mate. Easy. And we'll get started. So like I said, peasants are shy. So look around for any evidence of them in vegetation cover. Okay, so the cool thing is with this, uh, this is probably meaning in general if you want to hunt pheasants at all, probably go down here. This is probably the better spot to find them. So like I said, I did the hard work earlier of unlocking the map and doing all the whole nine yards with that right away. Um, so I can just fast travel to any of these here. Um, I might actually fast travel to the lower one and work my way up because I just need to be in the area. There's going to be a lot of dialogue here. Um, we're going to finish this one last mission. That'll be the end of this episode. If you guys are enjoying this stuff, uh, make sure you guys comment down Somewhere below. Let me know. A good place to start looking. <laughs> so the trick to pheasant hunting is maybe Well sorry you cut me off. We'll be right back. You have to make them flee or flush them out. <laughs> They're lousy flyers. I already got my gun ready to do our advantage. We've just gotta get them to take off first. Nice, that's easy to do. You know the rest. The you know right the rest. ammo for the job, of course. Then it's pan comido. A pan piece comido. Of cake. A piece of cake. And no one likes a cheater, so no shooting them on the ground. Got it? Yeah, you can't ground the pheasants. Okay, so that's in the dialogue not there. As I was saying, hey, if you guys enjoy this type of content, if you guys are enjoying watching me play the missions, if you guys are excited to see what the missions look like and that kind of stuff, because I know a lot of Xbox and P PlayStation players don't have the game out yet. Uh, they're not able to play, but they can kind of watch PC players. And I know that kind of sucks, but at least you can kind of see the missions beforehand. Um, some people like to be surprised and like to see it as it happens, like for them and stuff like that. But some people also just like to watch gameplay. Um, so if you guys are enjoying this, comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to continue to see this. Also, I had a thought as I was running around, because I always run around with my binoculars all the time. Always have binoculars out, because I'm always ready to, like, search and see what's there, right? What do you guys normally run around with your hand? Do you guys run around with your gun? I see a lot of people run around with their phones. They'll do stuff like this so they can see the map. What do you guys like to run around with? Put it in the comments down below. Uh, but, yeah. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure you guys comment. If you guys haven't liked the video yet and you guys are this far in the video, make sure you guys like the video as well, please. That means a lot to me. Uh, it also helps me get into the algorithm a little bit more. And then if you're new here and you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. There's going to be a new beginner's tutorial guide coming out soon. Um, all kinds of stuff. So I'm very excited for that. So let's go start running around here. Um, and we will try to find some pheasants. I'm hoping that they're pretty simple to find. One one trick I found. Okay. Turn this down a little bit. One trick I found that has worked pretty well for me so far 
is when I'm running around, I just shoot once. I'm telling you, you run around, you shoot once, and the pheasants will give a warning call, and you just know exactly where to go. I feel like I've done this so many times, and it's worked out pretty well. The one thing I will say with this shotgun that come that came with the DLC, um, it's this shotgun here in my inventory. This is going to be the, the Kuso Model 1897 Ranchero. So I think you unlock the other one by playing all the missions. This one I bought for 45000 because I had the money for it, of course. Um, but this this seems to have a little bit of a bug where sometimes you aim it and it won't shoot and you have to reload it and it'll like it'll do like a little like cocking animation and then you can continue on from there. But that's kind of how that's working. So it looks like we gotta find pheasants. Let's check the mission and see what it says. Travel optional find a pheasant need zone in the Rio whatever region. Kill a pheasant in the air and pass the harvest check. Easy game. Easy game. So we'll do this mission. This will be the last one we do. Like I said before, if you guys want to see more of this, please let me know. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'm having a ton of fun just vibing out in this game, too. It's been a blast, man. I've been playing this all week this week on Twitch. If you guys haven't checked out the Twitch channel, the description. Blah, 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 blah. If you guys haven't checked out the Twitch channel, if I can speak clearly, uh, it's going to be down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. We've been playing a lot of this this week, and it's just been a blast, man. I've been playing a lot of multiplayer with the community, so people have been hanging out hunting with me. Uh, so it's been cool. So let's see if we can't get a pheasant. Do you guys think I can do it first shot? You guys think I'm good enough of a hunter? What is this track? Wait, they have... I didn't know the pheasants had tracks. Am I crazy? I haven't seen pheasant tracks. Maybe they're dispersed and I just haven't seen them? Maybe I'm crazy. What is this? Jackrabbit. Not looking for that. I think that's a pheasant noise. I see it right there. You guys see it right in the middle of the screen? <laughs> this is going to be awesome. So I just needed to go up in the air. Once it's up in the air, it's donezo, bro. It's donezo. Easy game. Here we go. They run, and like once you get close to them, because they'll stop sometimes and do stuff like that. But once he stops here, if he will. There it is. It stopped. Start flying. Here we go. Here we go. It's about to fly. You guys ready for this? Let me make sure this is reloaded. Here he goes. So you can kind of chase these guys for a while. And then when you start to get close, they spook and then they'll start flying. What? No, don't fly in the trees. No, no. No, no. Hey, if you thought I could get it first try, um, that was your first mistake. Second mistake was, uh, <clears throat> we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> we got the hunting pressure, so we should have got it now. <laughs> How did I miss it? I've been doing that a lot. Maybe I need to set it on 25 meters. Maybe I'm too close and I'm trying to lead too much. I think that's my issue. I'm thinking I have to lead so much further. And like when you actually go skeet shooting, you don't have to lead. I mean, you have to lead by a little bit, right? But not by that much. I think I'm like literally acting like as if it's so far away. Ooh, this one is cool, though. It landed in the worst possible way. Looks like it's break dancing. Yeah, maybe. It's doing the it's doing the Michael Jackson, like, lean back, or I guess it's lean forward kind of thing. Let's see what we got here. Teacher, Silver, no? baby. You're a pretty good pupil. Is this one? My it's just gray. This, this one looks, like, really cool, Mexico. though. If we can keep them this size, wow. that should be a problem. Just got to get the gringo tourists on board. Okay. A big money spinner, sure. Uh, but if that's what it takes to keep this place up and running, so be it. It's I feel like <laughs> I know he's gonna keep Speaking talking. Gringos, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. My cousin told me that she'd spotted some intruders with a U.S. license plate going hog wild, shooting uh, animals from. Get this. From a hunting. I was gonna say real fast. I've truck. never seen a pheasant with this much Maybe white on it. It looks like. And I doubt the hunting they're doing is particularly ethical. So can you keep a lookout? Gracias. De nada. De nada. I'll keep a lookout. I was just going to say, I've killed a lot of pheasants, and I've noticed they're very brown. This one has a ton of white on it. Did you notice how dry the land around the old cattle it doesn't, was? It doesn't seem to have a... It's not albino, of course, but it's so much white. It's cool. The more cattle very, very cool. cram into a small area, the less ground cover there is. Wow. Water just runs off the land instead of making it into the vegetation. My parents' generation dug wells. And pumped out several times more water. 1050. I think every mission is going to be about that. When I told them my plans for this place, they weren't happy. Said I was selling out my inheritance. 
I see what he's asking us we to do here. Spoken much since. Travel to of where? Course, there are plenty of rancheros out here who rancheros. graze cattle responsibly. I just want to go in a different direction. I've tried explaining what they gain from it. <laughs> they just wish me luck. Okay, is but he I done? What they say Sometimes, chat, back. the dialogue in this game is a little long-winded, but you just got to get through it. You just got to get through it. It's like, uh, it's not bad. They're basically calling Most time, too, you could just start running to your next spot. <laughs> they went to college in Mexico City, same as me. I just stayed a while after I graduated. It's a beautiful Worked map. overseeing protected natural areas for Conan. Let's go up this way. But this way. back to business. Luckily for us, there's an easy solution to the groundwater problem. It just requires some more muscle on your part. Some more muscle. I need you to set up a few gabions. They're wire mesh baskets you fill with gabions. rocks and place along the banks of the arroyo to accumulate silt, mm. which holds the water like a sponge so it can trickle back into the ground. Okay. Uh, the winter rains aren't as predictable as they used to be. You know, with climate change doing a number on us. So, the sooner, the better. The sooner, the better. You guys see that rabbit coming in right here? I don't know if it's seen me or not yet. It might be alert to me. I don't think so. It's coming in. <laughs> Little does he know. Little does he know. You can actually shoot these shotguns really far. Hey, this is going to be the end of the first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to take this rabbit real fast. Dang flabbit. I hope it didn't spot me. We might just shoot it here. But we're going to take this. If we take this, you guys have to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you have to subscribe if we take this in one shot. I think, I I think um, I think we got it. Hey, I appreciate you guys. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, we're gonna do a couple more missions. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please let me know. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, if nobody's told you you're cute today, just want you to know you absolutely are. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys later.